This is Mitchell, and this video is to show how the Adaptive Audio Occlusion Blueprint works. I have the Blueprint in debug mode currently to help visualize what's happening. Here we have a sound in the level. The origin represented by this sphere mesh, and the audible range represented by this red light. Currently the sound isn't being blocked, so it's not occluded. Its volume is at 100%. If I move behind these boxes, however, you'll see a few things happen. The two orbs that appear on the sides of the blocking object are the locations of the diffracting sound coming from the original sound source. These are other ambient sounds playing the same sound as the original, but at a much quieter level. They track real time with the player location, so if I move side to side you'll see the sounds go from active to blocked. This is because they can no longer see the original sound, so the diffraction wouldn't make much sense in those cases. When they get back in view of the origin sound, the diffraction sounds come back. You can also see that the original sound is now playing at 7.5% max volume. It's also affected by a low-pass filter to give it that muffled sound. The amount of volume change and low-pass applied to the sound is dependent on the classification you give the material on the object that's blocking the sound, which you can set in the blueprint. Okay, that's the basic function of this blueprint. I hope this helps demonstrate what this thing actually does and how you might be able to use it in your project. Thanks for watching.